Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Reclaim Ranch. My name is Tara. So I've got these two amazing old toolboxes. One's actually a tackle box. And boy, does it tell a story. Look at all that rust, but it's so gorgeous. Love the patina on this. Love the blue color, everything about it. And then this is an old toolbox. So I thought what I would do is I would clear coat them with a weather defense. And then um, like this one, I might put like Papa's toolbox. And this one, I'm probably gonna put some fish transfers on. So we'll see how they turn out. So I cleaned them up really well um, with some baby wipes, or actually it was Lysol wipes. And then now I'm gonna go in with this Weather Defense spray. It will help stop the rusting and um, seal the rest of the rust so that whatever you put in there, it won't get onto it. So I did one good coat on each of these. And then, so this first one, we're gonna go in with the IOD Millets Pages. And this is that tackle box. So I wanna get all of the fish and kind of put, put them around the entire tackle box. And I ended up using the entire page. So um, in reality, it took about an hour or so to put all these on there because I was trying to figure out which one goes where and watching my show. <laughs> so that makes me pause a little bit, but that's the whole point of crafting is to, to relax and enjoy what you're doing. So um, same thing with all the transfers that I do. If you're new here, you just take the white backing off, place it where you want it, use your little stick there to help place it down onto your project and I always keep my fingers underneath that plastic piece to help move it along a lot faster. So when you're done you just take that plastic piece and burnish it, kind of rub it in. And then um, I will end up sealing this piece of course with some Tough Coat, Fusion's Tough Coat matte. I want to keep that matte finish. I don't want it to be shiny. So. I'll let you enjoy some music while I finish up these fish here. Okay, and this next box is an old toolbox. So what I want to do on this one is I want to take the IOD stamp set called Typesetting and I'm going to put Papa's Toolbox on it. And <clears throat> I'm just using these letters to kind of find out my spacing. But um, I use the IOD ink, the white mixing ink. And that's a, a permanent ink, so it should sit well and not have to be sealed. Uh, if you did want to seal it, you could just go over again with the weather defense or any kind of uh, clear coat spray. Rust-Oleum usually is the best. And that works just great. So this was an easy fix. Um, it was kind of interesting. I didn't have an apostrophe, so I had to take the number six <laughs> and figure out how to make one. But I think it turned out fine. 
<laughs> and so I thought this would be a cute little idea if a grand daughter or a grandson gave this to their their um, grandpa. I thought that would be a cute little Father's Day gift for them to do. So let me know um, if you have any toolboxes around like this. You can also make them into like a gardening box. Um, it's just a fun way to upcycle these old boxes that have kind of been tossed away. I think it it's so cool that they have been through so much. I love how pieces just tell a story, you know, the history behind them all. And so I want to make sure to bring that back out so they can continue to tell stories and, and make memories. I used to remember watching when I was little, the kids, the little boy with his fishing pole walking with his grandpa or his dad holding the little tackle box, just waiting to catch that big one. Those were the good old days. Got this beautiful wooden charcuterie board or cutting board. Um, looks like there was a, a watermark there. Only bought it for $1.99. A couple scratch marks. So we are going to sand this down and bring this puppy back to life. I love the shape of it. It's like a different, it's like wider at the bottom, but then it kind of rounds up at the top. It's pretty cool. So I started out with a 120 grit sandpaper and got out all of those little knife marks and um, took all the finish off. And then I went up to a 150 and then finished and smoothed out a little bit more. I didn't go any further than that um, in case I wanted to try and stain it again, but I ended up just putting some fusions hemp oil on it and brought out the natural wood color which i thought turned out beautiful So after sanding, I went ahead and just used a baby wipe to wipe off all that extra dust and my heat gun to, to dry it off again. And then um, I'm going to go in with my Fusions Hemp Oil. It is food safe. And so I'm going to go ahead and give it one nice healthy coat and let it soak in really well. And that's basically all it took. Um, if you do have boards like these at home, you do kind of want every now and then to to do this and give them a drink to make sure that they stay conditioned and then they last a lot longer. But I just love the beautiful colors of this piece. Um, I think just being the natural tones was well worth it instead of that darker tone. So this last project is fairly simple. I found this really cool, I don't know if it just is a little thing to hold recipes or, but it has a stand, it has a clip. And so I thought, well, um, I think it'd be a pretty nice decor piece if I just put a little like watercolor picture in there. Um, but it definitely can be used for several different things. So I love just taking my IOD stamps, being able to stamp something real quick and then just painting it in. It's very therapeutic, relaxing. I don't have to worry about drawing something and, and erasing constantly. So that's, I kind of cheat with the stamps, but... <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just kind of went in with my watercolors, traced the wings out a little bit, and that was as simple as that. And then I just put it in that little clip, and you can change it out as the seasons go. And so, um, let me know what your thoughts are on all these little projects that I did today. I am kind of starting to do more dad's gifts, kind of gearing towards that, and so... If there's something that you would like to see done, let me know. Otherwise, we'll just keep on keeping on. And I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you back here on Friday. Take care, guys. Bye.